Hi everybody, it's Mike from Alaska. I'm back and what we're doing today is remarkable. We're getting firewood. We're getting a lot of firewood. And my buddy Bob here in the excavator is unloading it. There he goes. Let's see, he's going for another load. Uh, he's got a hold of it. There he goes, swinging it around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you may say, as I'm saying, Mike, do you need that much firewood? Well, <clears throat> it's not that we need that much. We go through a lot because we have an outdoor wood burner. I don't know if you can see it in the background. And then we have a wood furnace in the house. What it is is getting ready. Getting ready for this year. It is October. And getting ready for next year. And whatever's left over for this year, you'll have less to do next year, and the next year, and the next year. And as the years go on, you're not getting any younger. And here he goes, laying it out. That is a birch tree. That's what you really want to burn. They do have only two species of trees here. It's birch and spruce. Spruce is like pine. Uh, that is... Uh, not as dense and it really burns fast hot and fast so it's a good fire starter if you uh, want to start your fire quickly and he's really going to town here well, he's got a grip on it there he goes and what we also have here is Bob's Log splitter combination cutter. So the logs will go on this railing here. And then logs will come in here and get cut by that blade, that big blade. That is a humongous blade. Come out here, drop in this little cubby hole here, and then it will split it. There's the splitter. Looks like it'll split it one, two, three, four times. And then it'll come out here at the bottom. And then there's a chute, like a conveyor belt, that puts it out about 20 feet you could load it on the ground in the back of your truck. But this is a humongous piece of machinery. Okay, back to Bob. Bob seems to be busy here. He's getting another grip on it. Okay, so this will definitely be wood for this year and wood for next year, I can see how much we got here. I'll take you over here and show you what we've been doing. There's a pile there. There's a pile there getting ready to be split. It's cut up into small pieces because we're going to use that for inside the house for the small wood burner. There's a logs there that we're ready to go. There's logs under there. Trying to keep them out of the weather. And we cut all of these logs 
my wife Ruth and I cut all of these logs here and dragged them on the property and this is what we've been doing splitting it one log at a time and back to the pile here boy these are some big pieces of birch here this birch here <coughs> my tractor could barely pick up this birch and my tractor's capable I have a small tractor and my tractor's capable of about 700 to 800 pounds and it barely moved it okay let's go back to Bob and then I'm gonna end the oh here's the chute let's see what the chute looks like so there's the chute and what will happen is the bottom end will attach there to the log splitter the chute will turn and then we'll drop the wood wherever you want it. On the ground, piled up, in a truck, in a dump truck. Okay, back here. Now, Bob does, will be supplying wood to the Trapper Creek area, Talkeetna, and other places in between. Okay, Bob is a little hung up with a chain here. Okay, I'm gonna end the video. I gotta go help him. Enjoy it. I thank Bob again. Mike from Alaska, signing out till next time, thanks.